Okay, so in that case, let's go. From zero to hero. Discover the complete process to become a professional pilot with the European Aviation School of Barcelona, an exciting path led by experts in each subject, instructors, active pilots and students. From zero to ATPL license, we will reveal all the mysteries and answer all the questions. We will fly, learn and enjoy the adventure. I'm ready. Let's go. Okay. Pull out. Power set. Tech. Life. Tech. Okay, so set high cruise. Okay, so high cruise. Uh, Looking outside in order to maintain the visual reference and in order that nose didn't switch up. So whenever you want it, just slightly apply the thrust. Okay, so set high cruise. Okay, so 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 high cruise. Okay
where we'll take our multi-engine aircraft training to the next level. These aircraft offer us greater power, greater speed, and greater safety, expanding the possibilities of where you can fly and how. But of course, with greater power comes great responsibility, right? That is why it is necessary to take all factors into account, especially when things can go wrong. What happens if one of the two engines fails? What does feathering an engine mean? How do I react to an engine failure of a multi-engine aircraft? How do I land in an emergency situation when this happens? In this episode, we will see the answers to these questions. I want to show you exactly what this training phase looks like and feels like. So buckle up and come along while we climb back to the cockpit of the Technum P2006T. Oh, we'll go ahead and all the barons are in the green. 1,600. Let's start with the right, so first of all, ignition. Goes down. I'll do three tests, right? Yes. So the first one, the RPMs go down. Yes. Check. Second one, the manifold pressure. Up. All right. I put this back. Thank you. And then the oil pressure goes down. All right. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Oh, there, there, there. And now, carburetor heat. Hello, blue. Okay. Perfect. Sade, Arias 1 Mike, calling short runway 31, ready for departure. Arias 1 Mike, wind chase 33, 11 knots, runway 31, ready for departure. Ready for takeoff, runway 31, Arias 1 Mike. Okay, perfect. Going inside. Entering the runway. Entering the runway call out. Landing area is clear, approach clear. Alright. Landing clearance, so fuel pumps on, full forward. The props, come raising heat as required off. Landing and taxi on, flaps take off, ready. Okay, ready. It's gonna be a rolling takeoff. Okay, I'm ready. Take off. Take off. Okay, takeoff power is set. Okay, left one is uh, a bit higher. A bit higher, but it's the indicator. The line, everything is on the green. 65, rotate. And brakes on, brakes on. Brakes on. Okay, positive climb, no runway available gear. Okay, maintaining 84 now. Okay, let's turn towards the Marico. Turning towards the Marico now. 300 feet. The power reduction, maximum continuous. Maximum continuous. An engine failure in a multi engine aircraft can be a challenging situation. Loss of engine power can lead to significant asymmetry during that phase of flight. And among other things, you no longer have enough power to continue flying at the ideal altitude or speed to maintain an efficient and safe flight. In this phase, you will learn how to handle the situation. The key is to maintain control of the aircraft at all times. And that is why the first thing we will learn when having an engine failure is precisely that, to control the aircraft quickly and to react quickly, with three steps. Control, power, clean. Step number one is we control the plane and we take it to its optimum speed for the situation. That speed is the blue line since this is how it's marked on the airspeed indicator and this is the best single engine rate of climb speed it's good to be at or above this speed whenever possible for climb performance in the event of an engine failure the second thing is to put power to the aircraft we will take all the levers that we have in the throttle quadrant forward later in the video we will see specifically why we do this the third action is that we clean the plane what does it mean to clean the plane? It means that we will reduce to the maximum any factor that increases the drag of the aircraft, such as the flaps or the landing gear. In this way, if at the moment of the engine failure we have the landing gear down or the flaps in a position that is not the optimal, which is zero, we will solve it immediately so that the aircraft has the minimum drag to continue flying at the optimum altitude and speed. Let's see an example in flight. 
Okay, so in that case, let's go. Oh, control the aircraft. That's it. Start the trip. No, of course, continue with the power. Okay, it's power. But start with the trip. Both, both power. Both power. Yes. Clean the aircraft. Aircraft cleaned. Okay, and now try to keep that uh, trim. Around blue line, more or less, okay? Okay. Okay. Plane is under control. Control. Okay. Power clean, yeah. Perfect. Once we have done these three memory items, that is, the steps that one has to memorize, what is next? Once we have the aircraft under control, we will analyze the situation, beginning by detecting which of the two engines is the one that failed, and what type of failure it is. During the course, the instructor explains how to detect the engine that has failed, and what are the two options, which in a few words are the following. To restart the engine, and if it doesn't restart, to secure it, and perform an emergency landing. Once we detect which engine has failed, we have the option to restart it, to continue with our flight with two engines, which is really what we want. There are failures that are completely fatal for the engine, but there are other cases in which the engine can return to an operating normal situation. In this case, we use an emergency checklist that gives us step by step what we must do to restart the engine. In the event that the failure cannot be recuperated, we must land immediately at an aerodrome, but not before securing the inoperative engine. And what does that mean? Let's go back into the cockpit to continue with the procedure and understand each of the concepts that we're describing. Okay, very good. So the airplane is controlled, and then we uh, apply power, yep. and we check that the airplane is clean. Okay, let's continue. Next is... Okay, so control power, they check clean, fuel pump on, both. All right, both on. Then we uh, identified that it was the right one because I'm, tr I'm trim um, uh, doing the left rudder. Exactly, so, so that, that, that is the right one, so that engine is the right one. Perfect. Okay, now continue. Okay. I can I can see that the engine... Imagine that we have a fire, okay? okay. So we cannot restart. Okay. Let's go to engine feather, engine, engine feathering. Engine feathering. So engine feathering, after we've identified, We'll go ahead and feather the right, uh, put yes. the engine... Don't forget, uh, confirm left, I right, sorry. Uh, confirm right. Yes, I confirm. Right. right. Confirm right, ignition yes. off right. Off. Confirm right, feathering right. Uh, yes, I confirm. Okay, Let's go, go ahead. Yes. Pull the feather. Okay, continue. And... Uh, Let's... After feathering. I uh, continue with fuel pump on and uh, fuel selector on and on. Both off, off, okay? This off and we should... Oh, no, this, this keep on, but this should go off, okay? Okay, so... Okay. And, so you okay, have so to see this, okay. all this off. Okay. With this. With right, the, with right the engine idle security. and propeller okay. fully uh, down, okay? Okay. And now the airplane is flying much better yes. and you lost less altitude. Of course it was faster, everything, and we didn't do the, the checklist, but... You were you were keeping the altitude much better now, okay? Because you trim better. Than. And as you can see now, the edges is completely stopped with the propeller feather, okay? Yeah. But and actually, you can notice that it's much better. Much, much, much you are better. climbing, okay? And the only thing is, uh, I, I need to be a quick control power, clean fuel pump. I will apply a bit of okay. power. Feathering. Perfect. Okay. Let's turn left 180. And okay. towards Sierra Echo, we'll restart the engine now, okay? okay. Perfect, so starting turn you can left. You can start to turn left. Flight Remember, maximum bank angle recommended 20. is 20 towards the operative engine, 10 towards the uh, inoperative one. Of course, it depends on the power setting. If if you want to turn more and you have enough altitude, you can reduce power, okay? So you will reduce also the, yeah, the, the, the asymmetric uh, uh, power. Yes. So you can you like bank more, okay? Uh, so it depends on, on the power setting and the speed of flying. Uh, for That's why we say 20 normally, but uh, if you need more and you have altitude, you reduce, you can bank more. Perfect. Okay, uh, well, let's restart the engine with the checklist. Okay. Perfect, so let me go to... Uh, I will maintain 3,000. So yeah, th well, no worries. If okay. you want to maintain it, because when you start the engine, you will lose a little bit of okay. altitude. So, keep 
Keep this altitude. It's better. Perfect. So it's safer. Restarting the engine. Let's go. In. So in flight engine restart. Carburetor heat if uh, if required. We don't require any carburetor heat. Electrical fuel pump on. So on. Okay, and on. Fuel quantity indicator check. Correct. Oh, it's the same. Fuel selector. Check crossfit if required. So in this case, right, right, left, left. Normally when I read this, I check that it's pointing towards the right one in this case, but I check that the pressure is okay. okay. Sometimes it was because due to the pressure, it went, it went to below the red line, and that was what uh, stopped real, the engine. A real engine failure. Okay. okay. Perfect. Field off. So it's right one. Yes, I confirm. You can do it. Off. Okay, perfect. Right field off. Ignition, both on. So shall I go ahead? Yes. Confirm right both on. Both on. Okay. Total lever operating engine set as practical. Okay, we will leave it here in idle, let's say. Yes, well, the operating engine means this one, you need full oh, power. Oh, sorry. Operating engine, uh, full. And stopped engine lever. Now idle. to idle. Stopped engine propeller lever, full forward. So this one will go full forward. Yes, full forward. Nothing happens. For the moment, okay. Just the the lever, okay. okay. Uh, shall I go with this uh, one? Full forward? No, you can keep this at this po uh, position, okay. And okay, and start push button. And now you, as soon as you press the, the start uh, push button, it will start to turn around the the, the propeller. And as soon as it unfeathers, yeah. you will feel the drag again. Okay. So you will need more rudder, to compensate. Okay? okay. So I'll go ahead. Huh? Let's go. Yeah. Keep it, keep it, keep it. Okay, now it's on, and you will feel the drag now. Okay. Now, uh, now be careful. Continue with the checklist. Okay. Perfect. Propeller lever. Set a desired RPM. Put it uh, next to the other one. This okay. down, just to go to maximum continuous, more or less. Okay. Field on. Field on. Good. And now, be careful with that. Propeller lever. Set as required. Set required. What does it mean? And you have that caution, but. What this what this caution says is be careful because the engine was stopped, but the airplane was flying. So a lot of air was passing through the so radiators. So it could be very cold. So yeah, in this case it's very cold. We have to wait until it goes to the green arc to apply power. We can apply to the blue line more or less because it's the same as and yeah, it's not a lot of power. Because what happens if I if I was going maybe it could yeah it's too cold. So maybe you can you can stop the engine again. Now that we know how to operate an aircraft during an engine failure, we have to practice it and practice it, so that way we have it completely memorized. And we must not only practice it while cruising, but also during the most critical phases of flight, such as takeoff and landing. Let's go back once more to the cockpit of the Technam P2016 to practice engine failures during takeoffs and landings at the Girona airport. We have one engine failure. Okay. So, fight engine. Troll. The one, the other one. Oh, this is the other one. This is two idle. Uh, yeah. Okay, sorry. Right engine is Attitude. operating. Power. And clean the aircraft. I will clean, yes. Yeah? Yeah, I prefer to clean and on final, I will put down. Uh, even with this weather, I prefer to go clean. Okay, control, power, clean the aircraft, fuel pump zone. Locating. Uh, well, let's turn uh, and secure the, the engine. Taxi okay. for Marshall, securing the engine. So, uh, shall I feather it and everything? Or uh, let's call? simulate. Okay, okay, let's simulate. So, feathering the engine. Uh, Defying left engine, idle. I confirm. Yes. Okay. I go up. F uh, ignition off. Yes. For left okay. engine, go from left. Go down, feather the engine. Okay. And Keep turning. Be careful, you have to turn a bit more. Oops. Okay, okay. so uh, you have feathered the engine. With the person, uh, I put a bit of power to okay. simulate, okay? Yeah. And we continue. Yeah. Perfect. Roger, there's one. Uh, Mike, clear for touch and go, runway 19, uh, wind uh, 270, 10 knots, gusting uh, 15 knots. Clear for touch and go, area 19, runway 19. Okay, okay, continue. Final checks. Final checks. And fill uh, up on, propellers full forward. All right. Take off, landing gear down. Very good. And be careful until you don't see the three green, you don't land, okay? Okay. And 
no warnings, of course, it's simulated engine failure. In real case, you will see warnings. Warnings and rudder trim. Okay, three green. And we have the clearance, so continue. Only right, right engine. When you need idle, go to idle because if I put a bit of power on the left, it's simulated further, okay? So when you need idle, full, I want both idle. Perfect. With one engine, a little bit more than 90, right? Uh, yeah, and yeah, and a bit higher if you can. Avoid that, to avoid apply much power now, okay? Because much okay. more power now means more asymmetric okay. fly, more rather, and it's harder. Okay, and now when you need, fully okay. idle, both. Okay, very good. Idle, idle. And let's go to the center. Okay, perfect. Okay, positive climb. Runway available. Gear up. That was a bit of a of a. Crazy uh, uh, base and approach. Yes. It's not the best day today. <laughs> okay, so we can reduce the power. Okay, 500, 300, reduce the power. Okay, so now, be ready, okay, because you have to be fast, okay? Okay, engine failure after takeoff. Uh, engine failure after takeoff, control, power, clean the aircraft. Yeah, very good, clean, okay. clean, clean. You have a normal altitude, clean okay. the airplane. Perfect. Flap up. Up. But keep the speed, okay? Now you will see that it sinks, be careful, but later continue with the procedure, okay? Okay, fuel pump on. I left engine idle. Okay, propeller um, I off. Yes. Okay, I confirm. Fear off and feathering. Okay, and then you will fly like this. Okay. Okay. And of course, go up again. Go up again. And build pump. pump, pump and and okay. And continue. Right. To the left now. Go to the right. To right. the right. Yes. Try to maintain. Okay. Okay. Wait. Passed through a down drop, <laughs> but we are not climbing again. Let's go right to Crosby. Like to activate the second flight tires to Romeo and proceed directly to Planet. Turning, keep turning, 90 degrees. We are proceeding to the circuit, okay? Romeo, squawk 7354, reaching Planet. Very important, avoiding red line and as possible, as much as possible, the blue line. So you can climb, right? Yep. It's well, just 100, 200 feet per minute, but you are climbing. The engine is simulated as an engine feather now. Okay, so yeah, you have to be fast in uh, this uh, case, okay? Because you are taking off, you are very close to the ground, so you have to be very, very fast. 